हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द सिंगलिंग पाथवे ऑफ नाइट्रिक एक्साइड इट इज बेसिकली वेजोडायलेट्री फिनोमिनल वेजोडायलेट्री पाथवे सो वी कैन स्टडी हेयर दैट वी स्टडी दिस पाथवे इन इन रिलेशन टू द वेस्कुलर एंडोथेलियल सेल एंड वेस्कुलर स्मूथ मसल सेल सो दिस इज आ एंडोथेलियल सेल वेस्कुलर एंडोथेलियल सेल एंड दिस इज आ वेस्कुलर स्मूथ मसल सेल सो वट हैपन्स ऑन प्रॉपर स्टिमुलेशन आर्जिन इन इन द वेस्कुलर एंडोथेलियल सेल इज मेटाबाइज टू सिट्रोलिन एंड नाइट्रिक एक्साइड एंड दिस रिएक्शन इज कैटालाइज बाय नाइट्रिक एक्साइड संथेज which is present inside the vascular endothelial cell and it is endothelial cell nitric oxide synthase it catalyzes the conversion of an arginine into citrulline and nitric oxide this nitric oxide then diffuses from endothelial cell into the vascular smooth muscle and inside the vascular smooth muscle it activates guanyl cyclase enzyme this enzyme catalyzes the conversion of gtp into the cyclic gmp so what happened here arginine got converted into citrulline and nitric oxide nitric oxide uh, stimulated the guanyl cyclase enzyme inside the cytosol of uh, smooth muscle cell and uh, this enzyme catalyzed the conversion of gtp into cyclic gmp and what happened the next this cyclic gmp activates the protein kinase g protein kinase g is a kinase and we know that all kin kinases promotes the phosphorylation and this enzyme phosphorylates the calcium channels and when calcium channels are phosphorylated they are blocked so uh, when these channels are blocked there is no entry of calcium ion to the vascular smooth muscle as a result calcium level in the vascular smooth muscle decreases when calcium level decreases uh, interaction of myosin light chain kinase to promote vascular smooth muscle contraction decreases and vascular smooth muscle are relaxed and it promotes the vasodilation this way in this way nitric oxide promotes the vasodilation inside the uh, blood vessels this cyclic gmp is degraded by phosphodiesterase which converts it into uh, 5gmp and as a result the stimulatory effect of cyclic gmp on uh, phospho uh, protein kinase g are inhibited and the drugs such as sildenafil and tadalafil these drugs inhibit phosphodiesterase and as a result the cyclic gmp accumulates inside the vascular smooth muscle and when cyclic gmp accumulates uh, it promotes vasodilation so these drugs are used to treat erectile dysfunction in males which is uh, basically due to uh reaction basically is a vasodilatory phenomena and uh, when the vasodilatory substance such as cyclic gmp is accumulated uh, erectile dysfunction is treated or cured and next uh, we can see here uh, this is the nitric oxide it was uh, synthesized in endothelial cell and it diffused into the vascular smooth muscle and activated guanyl cyclase which uh, converted gtp into cyclic gmp this cyclic gmp activated its protein kinase g and this protein kinase g in addition to uh, closing the calcium channels it also activates myosin phosphatase and what they, this myosin phosphatase does it uh, dephosphorylates the myosin light chain kinase myosin light chains and when they are uh, dephosphorylated smooth muscle contraction decreases and vasodilation is promoted so it was all about the nitric oxide signaling pathway we can summarize all this here uh, nitric oxide was synthesized in endothelial cell it diffused into the uh, vascular smooth muscle and activated guanyl cyclase which lead to formation of cyclic gmp cyclic gmp activated its protein kinase g uh, protein kinase g uh, inhibited the calcium channel calcium level decreased in the cell and uh, there was vasodilation and this cyclic gmp is uh, degraded by phosphodiesterase which converts into 5 gmp and the uh, stimulatory effect of cyclic gmp are uh, inhibited in this way so it was all about today's video thank you